3 of AP Psychology. In this video, we will explore how theories advance psychological science and understand the methodology psychologists use to observe and describe behavior. A theory is an explanation using an integrated set of principles that organizes observations and predicts behaviors or events. Theories advance psychological science by providing a framework for understanding human behavior and mental processes. A hypothesis is a testable prediction, often derived from a theory. For a theory to be scientific, it must be falsifiable, meaning it can be tested and potentially proven false. For example, the hypothesis, if students sleep more, their test scores will improve, can be tested and either supported or refuted. Operational definitions specify how variables are measured or defined in a study. Replication involves repeating a study to see if the same results are obtained, which strengthens the validity of the findings. For instance, defining sleep as hours of sleep per night allows researchers to measure it consistently. Psychologists use various methods to observe and describe behavior, including case studies, naturalistic observations, and surveys. Case studies involve in-depth analysis of individuals or groups. Naturalistic observations involve watching behavior in natural environments, and surveys collect data from a large number of respondents. A case study is a detailed examination of an individual or group. It provides deep insights, but may not be generalizable. Naturalistic observation involves observing behavior in its natural context without intervention. It provides a real-world perspective, but can be time-consuming. Surveys gather data from many respondents. They are efficient, but can be influenced by social desirability bias and self-report bias. Sampling methods are crucial for ensuring that research findings are generalizable. Random sampling, in particular, helps eliminate sampling bias. A random sample ensures every individual in the population has an equal chance of being selected. Convenient sampling involves selecting participants who are easily accessible while a representative sample accurately reflects the population. Let's review the key terms we've learned today. Understanding these concepts helps us appreciate the rigor and methodology behind psychological research. In conclusion, theories provide a framework for understanding behavior and various methodologies help psychologists observe and describe it accurately. Recognizing the importance of proper sampling ensures research findings are reliable and valid. Thank you for watching Unit 0 Part 3 of AP Psychology. Stay tuned for more insights into the scientific attitude and critical thinking. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AP Psychology content. See you in the next video.